What? What? Whoop. It has him Finn playing the Dan. Just got done reading the doctor's voice in a very weird accent that switched from one thing to another. As if I was the captain of a starship. But I'm not. I'm going to keep playing the game. Oh man, Thief sure is popular except when it's not. Oh, 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 and I guess the rooms that I remember were not the rooms that I remember. What a pain in the history. Well, this floor, I, 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 I do think I remember it being larger, but I guess it is. This is the hallway oh, wherein man. I remembered there being an idea. It's probably marble. What the hell was that? I've never heard you say hell, young lady. That is a different voice sound than what I'm used to. Don't think you'll escape. Oh, I see. It's because she's a cop, so she's allowed to mention hell and other horrid terms. And one tap on the floor, and that's what happened, really? I, can't, I love how I alternately say, boy, I love a challenge, and then I go, boy, challenge is annoying. But <laughs> that's why I constantly say I'm Discord. Where is that lady? She's got the voice of a female cop. Didn't I just go in here? No. <laughs> Okay, fine. I, I guess I understand now. Mm. Okay, completely different place than I thought it was. I mm. had my wrong funny. bearings. <clears throat> and then my wheels were clattering and I had to pay $2,000 to get them fixed. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh well. What? Really? Up there? <laughs> That's another thing I don't remember. Boy, I'm just doing better than I used to all the live long day, except when I'm not. No, wait a minute. Of course I must remember that. It's freaking necessary, spoiler. I mean, you can tell because it's got a big old label and it's a big old unique item and the other things like that. This is... What? You can't hide forever. God, you guys, you just hear things. What is... Who's hey! this? With yeah. you! Anyway, yes, you see, I do change my mind a lot, Who and I just that? got tired of trying to explain why it happens, because I don't know why. Because I shouldn't have to explain weird biological processes that don't make any sense. This world is for experiencing, mate, and not for worrying all the live long day about everyone in history. Do it! Now they're gonna hear me for no reason! I'm not kidding. Come on out. What the- who- what? Funny. They come from outside. Did they see me? What is going on? What do you want? What is it? Just trigger them if I walk in? I think these guys didn't even exist before. Really? One tap on the floor causes the idiots to come running out as if I'd made a ton of no. And I had that door closed even. Oh, you guys suck. <laughs> okay, well now that I did that in a slightly clever way that probably more in line with what I'm supposed to do I can now go back and purchase another automobile in peace Remember the key to funny commentary is to say things that have nothing to do with anything You can open the lock and bust open somebody's head because or, or heart because that's the same thing people people's hearts have a key lock in them And you just shove it right into their chests <laughs> And turn it and they will absolutely love it because they're crazily in love with pain, I guess. Oh, this time I'm only just walking. No, it's because I walked in front of the five. Like, yeah, it's 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 hard. Like, imagine that. <laughs> I guess I got what I wanted. Come on. She's staring right at me. Like, what a bitch! They're all staring right at me. These guys' problems is like the very blaze. Honestly, not too sure what you're even supposed to do here. I guess you're just supposed to be quick. I don't know how to get around to some guys. Oh, creepy! And there's another portrait of what's her face, Lady Punchinello. <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess, I guess she's a book. I dwell in the mine shaft and throw bombs! I'm not a hot head, I'm Punchinello! <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I think Punchinello is actually a real name. It just sounds completely ridiculous. Because... <laughs> in Super Mario RPG, you know, Punchinello. Uh, I, I always thought that was supposed to him. Hey, collecting all this stuff to smell. Ugh. Before, before I even find out about it. I thought that was supposed to be a pun on, like, Pinocchio or something. Or, 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 well, not that, but some, some name, because I'm like Punchinello. I thought it was supposed to be like, oh, he or she punches. 
but really it's just some traditional name, but I'm sorry, it's the silliest sounding traditional name ever. <laughs> then again, maybe it's meant to sound silly. Anyway, I know how to deal with you. I haven't had enough of the permissive society. No, okay, now I have. What falls at the team with tree heads? Kickstart my heart with a donation. It comes to my recollection that I have not explained why I want to cart Berenice over to the laboratory, but that will explain itself later. My automatic explain-o machine, just feed it with oil and have it smoke up your face and make a nice humming sort of sound that sounds like a world of bees. This, of course, is the room with the not at all creepy faces all over the place. You definitely want to eat here. What are you talking about? Well, maybe if you were not sane, you maybe would want to eat here because you're crazy. And it will be shown just how crazy it is when I take him to the psychiatric ward and inform him he's crazy with no proof whatsoever. In my head. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to have to come back here before this is all said and done? Because it's here and people don't put things in games for no reason. Give me eyes, give me ears, give me nostrils, give me fingers, give me mouth, and I shall open the door. Well, I hope you mean give you those... <clears throat> actual noun type things and and not give you an act done with them because I'm not gonna do that stone just doesn't you know do it for me man don't hurt me don't hurt you anyway that's better I guess I've done everything here and destroyed the gameplay all over the place so now I'll continue on up the stairs ready 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 no too bad Oh, I love stairs up. Because I think this contains the secret to life, the universe, and getting a sword. Because, you see, I'm pretty sure this banner is some form of secret. What? Thought so. Well, at some point, I picked up the safe key. <laughs> I guess I'll go back now. That's my goods. Still don't have my sword! <laughs> Where's my sword? And so forth. This isn't marble, it's the same texture as anything else. False entities. Well, that didn't second him, did it? Well, I think I'm gonna take Berenice down here. As for now, because I can't really remember when some big old event happened. So I wanna... I don't want her to have to deal with a big event, and she's clearly incapable of doing even basic science. So I don't see why I should trust her with doing anything else. I'll just put her down there and go look at her laboratory, because I'm sure I'll find some very incriminating stuff. She is, after all, the angel of death. Well, that might be going a bit far. But I like going far. I drive to Victoria every day. And I, I mean Victoria, Australia, every single day, clearly. <laughs> I see. Well, it looks like her morality is already quite suspect in the first place. So we're already beginning to have all manner of fun because it's fiction. You can laugh at horrors. Experiments began this morning. Here and after, I will keep a strict record of the developments in my research first day, I installed my laboratory and fixed the test tubes. Second day, I cleaned around a little and got the experiments room ready. That secret door is quite useful. Third day, ah, this is getting more interesting every day. I have found Doc's arsenic. It was the last ingredient I needed. I will finally have a chance to test my poison eau de Berenice. <laughs> Fourth day, I smeared a piece of cheese with eau de Berenice, and then I... Duh, not do. And then I had Vivian give it to the rat. I couldn't do it myself. I hate those filthy creatures. The mere sight of a rat gives me convulsions. Sometimes I dream I am locked inside a dark, cramped place with those horrible creatures devouring me. If that ever came to happen, I would certainly die. The experiment was a success, and the rat died immediately. I have prepared some more poison pieces. I will rid the fortress of those dirty animals. I will begin with a waste pit near my laboratory. There is a real plague in there. Seventh day. I have changed my mind. I will not make any more poisons. I am not a criminal. I will create body lotions. They will be healing lotions to take care of the poor men coming back from dangerous missions beaten up by nasty guards and full of bruises. Eighth day. I wrote an advertisement for human guinea pigs to test my products. Ninth day. I didn't expect such enthusiasm. Now I have two guinea pigs, La Guigne and Lulu. Ah, things are getting serious. 
Now I can finally test my silk skin soothing silky cream. Tenth day. Lulu had a bad reaction. Like he had smallpox. I should put less sulfur in the cream. Eleventh day. I'm going for bath oil now. Twelfth day. Arsene with no lure asked me for a powerful poison today. My dear brother must want to get rid of someone annoying. It will be a change from running after those stupid red stones. But he will have to wait. I am too busy right now. I'm testing anti-gangrene baths for the moment. I can always give him a piece of cheese smeared with anti-rat poison. Sixteenth day. I finally found the perfect formula for my anti-gangrene product. I will test it tomorrow on le... But I still have to convince him to take a bath. Seventeenth day. Oh, damn, I killed lagging him. Oh, as soon as he got into the bath, I knew something was wrong. He suddenly started smoking. And now there is nothing left of him. Just a few whitened bones. My goodness, I sure am upset now. Eighteenth day. Lulu got sick. He suddenly started drooling everywhere. At first, I did not understand what happened. But then I realized one of my poison cheeses had disappeared. Oh, it is horrible. Lulu ate one of my poisonous Rochefort. I quickly hid the corpse in the experiments room. Oh my god, Arsene is going to be furious with me. I've killed two of his men. He's always telling me that he got all the intelligence genes of our parents and only left me the stupidity genes. Which must have been our father's. May the builder have mercy on him. I will probably dream that I wake up surrounded by horrible rats again. I always have that nightmare when I am under stress. I promise not to touch any more chemicals in my life. Word of Berenice. Here ends the research diary of Berenice. I might go on to the marriage business. It is quite a promising market and it is not so risky. Hmm. Cutie Mark Crusaders everything triers. <laughs> it's the stinky cheese. Uh, I'm really not sure what sort of practical use that cheese has. I don't think it really does have any. But I'm certainly not going to be eating it myself. Now there's a secret passage here. Obviously, as it was stated, but I don't really remember where it is. Oh, but wait! I see some... That's what you get with predetermined length ladders. Yeah. Oh, I see. Never get tired of these clocks that actually look good. Didi fix they didn't used to. <laughs> There's... Man, what is with this z -fight? Like, I don't even remember that happening back in the day. Like, how could that even happen unless there were two door models in one place? And why would there be... I don't know the editor, perhaps it's silly and weird. <laughs> I don't know why that would be. Well, well, well. Waste pit, do not enter the pit. Danger of rat bites. Okay, then. Well, well, I think we know what we can do to Baron is here. <laughs> don't kill her, but give her the fright of her life when she wakes up. Oh, it's going to be sweet. Oh, I guess this is the forbidden zone, which we shan't go to. Instead, we're going to play Uniracers! Bom, 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 bom. That's Led Zeppelin, not Uniracers. I, I do apologize. Oh, look at these guys. Well, get over here. Come to my bionic farm. Ah, let's turn around. <laughs> the movement is very stiff. Oh, man, this game's ancient. It's hilarious. <laughs> no, it's thou. I do not know. All right, well, here we are on the topmost floor. Viz this one, which is somehow bigger than the second floor, I... <laughs> that seems to be a little bit of an impossible architecture, but oh well. There's lots of smoking rooms in these houses. Rooms for you to kill yourself slowly in. Let's be socially conscious! It's one of those words that doesn't really mean anything, but you can repeat it over and over. Ooh. You know, I'm absolutely certain this banner either can be slashed or it slides. That if it slides, there must be a switch. <sighs> oh, oh. <laughs> yes, sneaky people always find secrets. <laughs> I think maybe you're supposed to shoot a room here. God damn it, stop it! Let me up! Not by the hair of my chinny chin chop. <sighs> yeah, now I think this is the way to get here by avoiding all kinds of conflict and stuff. I think somebody might come through that door, though. To guard against such possibility, I'm going to stick higher octane heighteners into my gasoline. It's going to be perfectly safe. Ah, you see? You see? What did I tell you? You didn't believe me, and now you're paying the price. All of you. What's up? Another one. Something moved. 
Have fun, you two crazy lovebirds! Well, that's certainly suspicious. <laughs> well, that's a blatantly obvious door for a blatantly obvious switch. I suppose all makes sense. Wow, what? How far am I going here? Oh. Oh, okay. It's the touch. I thought there was... Jesus. <laughs> Creepy. Well, that's Viney. I guess the ghost got him good. And that's so I can get back. Nah, yeah, I think I remember this place. I thought it... I remember another similar place with a door on that side. I don't know if I've LP'd that mission or not. Well, I don't even know what it is. I'm to that point where I should be posting all one of those threads on the forum that people always post where they're like, Tell me what mission this is, I don't remember. Oh, that one's not pickable. Let me back out. What are you doing? What? No. Okay. I suppose this is the living room. Quiet. What's going on? Yeah, there's... Those guys there. And that is why you don't want to come in here the regular way, I guess. Those aren't chess pieces. I think this is still too close. Yes, difficulty is ramping up. That is the way of the rainbow squirts! Sure, I'm annoying others just as much as they're annoying me. Not before entering. <laughs> Not in your dreams, Buster. Oh, wow. Oh, Locks that big. <laughs> well, she didn't need to really invent healing things, as healing potions were already existent. As well, I guess she, she's already got all these potions. What is she doing trying to reinvent the wheel and claim patents for something that she doesn't deserve? Uh, really? That's all there is? Just loot in here? All these locks and there's not even so much as an incriminating bit of evidence. I don't know against what or for what, but I just like incriminating evidence. It's, it's, it's my thing, man. Don't judge me. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, okay, more moderately useful equipment. There is a dewdrop being skewered. I cannot abide such a thing, so I'm leaving. I mean, I tell you, such disrespect. What is this? Dining room? Maybe? You shouldn't be at a game or something. This looks like it could be a puzzle. A hand with a one, two, and a three, and a four. Let's wander over yonder and find our love and peace and happiness. By which I mean money, because money brings you happiness. I know it's not supposed to, but you just try it. Next time you get a big old check, tell me how you feel. Oh, look at me, I teleported back here. There was nothing on the mantelpiece. What a complete waste of an object. Objects have limited amounts that they can be in, you know. We can't just go using them willy-nilly. Well, that looks exactly like Berenice, kind of, but isn't. What was that? Because she's way fatter around the midsection, and therefore she can't be allowed to exist in one of these missions, my guy. No, 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 no. What? The library! We got a lot of books here, but I can't read any of them. There's clearly a secret passage. Because look at that. It's very suspicious. Also, because there's something on the bottom of the library that would probably lead into Last Lane's apartment. It's because you can't really get there normally because of two big, strong, burly men filming a movie. Oh, hey. Oh, really? So I need a key for his quarters, presumably. Uh, but wait a minute. I have the key to... Or I should have the key to Burik's quarters, right? Because he left it with the doctor and I was at the doctor's place, right? Hide it well. Dang it. Somebody's down here, and he says what the all the time. Stupid! Who the hell saw me? There's nobody! Bloody engine! Bloody nonsense! Maybe he noticed a body. Annoying. I'm a human and I demand that machines make sense! There's not even supposed to be anybody left downstairs. Alright, he hid the key well. Let's go find it. Ah. Uh... Don't know what that did, however. You could try playing a sound to let me audibly determine the direction it is coming from. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. Well, now that I'm at Burik's chambers, I think I'm gonna leave it here. 
because next time something amazing might happen. What do I know? I don't remember. I'm just saying maybe. So see you guys later. Thanks for watching and bye for now.